page you are now viewing is called the Program Plan Stack. Program Plan comes from the terms PeopleSoft uses to refer to a student's college and major. The stack refers to the stack of rows that is displayed on the page. Notice that Joe's student has a stack of three rows. We are currently viewing row one of three. Each row reflects a change in his program, plan, or status at the university. They are stacked one on top of the other, with the oldest being at the bottom. You can navigate through the stack by clicking View All, which will display all the records on one page. If you scroll down, you can see all three records. If we click View One, it'll go back to one record, and we can scroll through one by one using the arrows, if you prefer. Now we are on record two of three. Click one more time, we're on record three of three. Let's go back to the first record to begin looking at Joe's student's record. The first information we see is Joe's academic career. ASU has four academic careers, undergraduate, graduate, law, and non-credit. Joe's student is an un undergraduate student. Okay. The next piece of information is the student career number. A student the student career number differentiates multiple academic programs within the same academic career. This would include concurrent degrees or a certificate program. The default value for a student career number is zero. So a student who is pursuing their first undergraduate degree at ASU, that career number would be zero. If the student adds a second degree, say currently they're pursuing a Spanish degree, and they decide they also want to add a political science degree, the political science degree would be added as career number one. So each degree granting plan um, or program that a student is pursuing will be added as a new career number. This also applies for certificate programs. A minor will not be added as an additional career number. It will simply be added to the existing career number. We'll take a look at an example of a student with multiple career numbers after we've reviewed Joe's student's record. The status on a student's program plan stack tells you the status of the student here at ASU. A student who's currently attending will be considered active in program. Other common status you may see is discontinued if the student is no longer attending, completed if the student is graduated, Another common one is leave of absence if the student has elected to take a semester off from the university. The effective date is very important in the program plan pages because the system will not recognize a program action for a term that has an effective date that is after the first day of the term. This can have an impact on reporting and enrollment requirements, also on other places throughout PeopleSoft. For the tuition fees to calculate correctly, based on the student's major, the effective day would have to be on or before the first day of the term. Since this is before the spring 2008 semester, the fees would calculate based on the major as of 12-3-2007. Next is the effective sequence, which corresponds to the effective date. If more than one change occurs on the same day, the effective sequence will increment by one. So if on 12-3-2007, another change had been made on the program plan stack, the effective sequence of the new newest change would be two. Next is the program action. Program actions are used to make changes to a student's academic record. The most commonly used program actions are program change, PRGC, plan change, PLNC, data, discontinued, DISC, and completed, COMP, which means the student has graduated. In addition to the program action, often there is also an action reason, though it is not mandatory. In this case, the program action is plan change. So on 12-3-2007, the student changed their major or could have added a minor and the action reason is student request. In the case of a data change, a data change is an information only change that adds an informational row to the student's record. 
Currently, we use data to indicate that a student has filed their declaration of graduation, filed their program of study, if they're a graduate student, and also that they've applied to graduate. The action reason of DOG F stands for Declaration of Graduation. DGAP, D-G-A-P, stands for Apply to Graduate. Next is the admit term. This is the term that a student was admitted to ASU into this degree program or readmitted to ASU. The admit term should never change and this should not be updated. The requirement term on the student program tab equates to the student's catalog year. Please note that there is also a requirement term on the next two tabs we'll look at, student plan and student subplan, but the requirement term on the student program tab is the catalog year. This can be changed if it is determined the student's catalog year is different than their admission term. Next is the academic program. Joe's student is in academic program UGLA, which stands for Liberal Arts and Sciences. The UG indicates he's an undergraduate student. Once Joe's student has applied to graduate, the expected grad term will be filled in by the graduation office. This field should not be updated by anyone other than the graduation office. Next you see which campus the student attends. Joe's student attends here at the Tempe campus and he is a full-time student. The number of hours he is registered in indicates he is full-time. Now that we've covered the basic fields on the student program tab, let's look at records two and three. So here on record one, the effective date was 12-3-2007, a change happened. If we go to record two, we will see a change happened on 7-1-2007, and it was another plan change. So the student either changed their major or added a minor. And then if we go to record three, we see the program action of MATR, matriculation. Once a student has been admitted to an academic program, after the admission process, they become matriculated. When a student is matriculated, they change from being an applicant to being a student, and their data is no longer maintained by the admissions office, but the registrar's office. Once again, we can press view all and view all of the records in order on the same page.